Okay, so I'm now I've taken off the cover of the timing chain. I skipped over a bunch of stuff, but a couple things that I wanted to reiterate. The AC has three bolts in it. Two are, are in the back and they're impossible to see. Next, the power steering pump. It's easier to take off the bracket in the back. And again, I took out both my fender wheels to do this in the wheels. And yeah, it's hard to see. But you're gonna go through. It's right by the exhaust manifold. You'll see the, there's two bolts back there by the exhaust manifold. And actually I'll zoom in real quick. See down there to the left? Right, let me get my finger in here. Right there where my finger is, that little hole down there. Right there, that's the bracket of the power steering pump. All the way down there, it's a booger to get off. But next thing too, so I'm doing the timing chain. You break these loose while it's under tension still. Also make sure you have your markings like I do. And they, they, when you get to the top bit center, the mark shouldn't line up. Shouldn't line up, see right there? There's the timing mark on the inside right there. Everything should just line up that way. Same on this side right there. And also, even down here, Right here, I have the time mark set. You'll see the little notch down there too. Let me get down there. See. see right here, I have a black line right there. That's the mark. There's a lot of good videos out, so I just wanted to add one too. Um, also, so I saw my wrench down there on the case. There's two bolts on the drain on the oil pan. One of them doesn't even come out all the way because you can see right here, there's one and there's two. Also, look at... Mm, I don't think that all cleaned up. Um, make sure you organize everything so you know where everything goes. Just keep track. I mean, this is a long process. I've done this over a couple days now because I just want to take my time while doing it. Make sure everything, do everything right. Just put a rag down there. This is a pain to get out. You need long needle nose pliers to reach that um, oil, uh, that coolant line right there. But that will come out. I can't even imagine how hard it is to be to get back in. You don't have to take this off, but it's easy enough to find top dead center like that. And I was already doing the valve covers. I have that video. It's a separate one. So, anywho, I wanted to show how hard these pins are to get in. The pin is right there, and you gotta push it back to get it into place. It's just, this thing's a nightmare to do. Not to dis discourage anyone, but this is not for the faint of hearted. You're taking apart your entire engine to do the, well, the front end of the motor, basically, to do this. So, okay, I'll give you another update when I finish, and I go through, and the truck's running. I just wanted to show you real quick. Uh, I didn't want to shoot a video doing this because I have no idea what I'm doing because I'm watching the videos, but I do wanted to do a video to point out a few things that I have learned along the way that I've taken a bunch of time, like the AC compressor, like the power steering pump bracket, because, you know, when the timing case won't come off, you know, I ended up taking out the thermostat housing. Didn't need to come out, but I didn't know, you know, lesson learned for me. I did that because it was like, oh, that's blocking the case somewhere. It wasn't. Um... So, also, other thing I forgot to mention, and you gotta do everything like this in order. This is how you're gonna set your timing. The timing work is on here. So if you take off this pump too early, you or the tensioner pulley, you're not even gonna know your timing mark. So, I had to put that back on to find my timing for top dead center. And also, I mean, just keep rotating the motor around and you'll find it, because I stuck a, a long, where is it? One of those grabbers I stuck in there and I would go around and I was watching it go up and down and then I would match, finally I figured it out to match up the timing mark and it was at its highest point and I'm like, okay, that's top dead center for cylinder one. So it's just a lot of things to learn and go through. And at the end, I will do a video because most people don't do that. I want to show it running and tell you 
any problems I experienced along the way after this point. All right, thanks. Bye.